started with with um, uh, the, for the bass sessions with uh, soul legend Alexander O'Neill <laughs> just off stage at Upton. Mr. O'Neill, very nice of you to Thank take you. a little time to talk to I us. I better get down here so we can see that kind of. And a great <laughs> set tonight. Um, can you tell me? Uh, You've, uh, you, you've, you've still, as far as I know, got the record for the most consecutive sold-out nights at Wembley. What was it like being in Upton tonight and singing for the people in Upton? What a great crowd, man. I mean, you know, it was a great crowd. This festival is bar none. In, in the UK, it, 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 you know, it's compatible to any festival that they do in London or anywhere. The people here, the energy is outstanding. The people, everybody's been great. What can I say? I've had a great evening. It's been fun. You turned it on despite having a bit of a tough day as well, didn't you? Yeah, well, it's, it's been a difficult day. You know, this place is not where we're having the festival. is not very easy to find, especially for guys who come from London and coming up here and trying to find it. So, But other than that, uh, it's been great. Uh, I'm excited. What a, what a great crowd. And um, what a great crowd. I was out front. A lot of people out there enjoying what we were doing tonight. Yeah. I have a lot of love. One thing about my fans here in the UK, you know, they grow up with you and they grow older with you. And even we get some young ones as well. So it was a great time for us. And I really enjoy performing and I look forward to coming back and doing it again sometime. Great stuff. And um, are you going to be around the UK doing any more gigs soon? Well, next month I'm, I'm all over the UK. You know, I'm doing some constantly doing things. I'm working on two albums. I have a new R&B album coming out. And I also have a big band album that I'm doing. But the big band album, this is a surprise because it's going to be done. I'm doing songs like Frank Sinatra and Nat King Cole and endless amounts of artists like that. But I'm doing with the R&B twist on it. So I'm doing songs like Fly Me to the Moon, Witchcraft, those type songs. But we're doing it Alexander O'Neill style. So okay. it's going to be kind of interesting. Hopefully you guys check it out. Hopefully you like it. That's fantastic. So, uh, uh, something new in a way for you to go into the big band. Uh, well, this sound. is something new. You know, I mean, I think as a singer, you know, a lot of times, you know, you got to get in where you fit in, and you got to keep growing. You know, you can't just. And that's something that's always been a challenge for me is to keep growing, and I, I like to keep growing within my music, within my singing. So, we're venturing out and we're doing different kinds of songs because I like all types of music. I like. I like country western, I like pop, I like R&B, so I like a lot of different things, so I'm doing a lot of different things. So, And I'm also working with uh, Russell Watson, mm -hmm. he's a good friend of mine who's going to be on this album. We're going to have a song that we appeared on his album, so now I get a chance to come on my album, the old Willie Nelson, Julio Iglesias song, uh -huh. All the Girls I've Loved Before. So having Russell on is a real, real honor for me, so it's going to be fun. Great stuff. Mr. O'Neill, thank you very much for taking the time just off stage to, uh, to talk to us. Thank you. Much and I tell you, these guys are having a wonderful time up tonight. And thank you guys for having me and uh, have a wonderful evening. Thank you for taking the time to talk to us. All right. Cheers. Thanks. Thank you very much.